everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Binding of Isaac after it. Plus, okay, let's there's too many things to mess up here. Hard mode. Good. We're set. Apollyon has been taken care of. Okay. And make sure you're eating. Making 20k a day, Eden is eating good. Big boy. On the song Roses by Outcast. Um, hold on. I have to reply again, I mentioned in the last episode my parents are here. I can probably yeah. uh, sorry, I've got to dictate the whole text to you as well. I can probably get a close seat, but unlikely to be next to one another, but that's okay. All right, this is a tough run right off the bat. I will take the pill. I'm okay with it. Um, we have a. This is actually the danger zone, and not seeing a tinted rock here has got me all twisted up as well. Um, it's 19 rate of fire. That's the real problem, combined with one HP. Now, Book of Sin. You know, it honestly has a pretty realistic chance to to free us from the concern that we might be facing right now. But we have to, yep, we have to wait the requisite few rooms until it's going to get there. Now, I, I had a feeling there was a pretty good chance I would get hit there. That's life. Uh, you owe it to yourself to shoot all of these. And then just hold your breath. Or rather, don't hold your breath. That's a good advice I got from my gym teacher in high school. He said, you know, you're lifting a heavy weight. A lot of people have a tendency to hold their breath, but... You know, your breath gives you oxygen. Your oxygen is what fuels your muscles. You got to keep breathing if you want to, you know, stay lifting. We'll peep this just real quick. Um, my honest thinking was maybe there actually would be some fires in here that we could shoot. And uh, we're just going to do one more room. Hope for the best. It's not horrible. I got to be honest. Peeper's eye is pretty dangerous. Or it meant literally the exact opposite. Pretty useful here. Um, it, it, we got to hope for a little bit of luck of the draw. Hope it actually hits the enemies, but still. We got a red heart, and we got another chance. We got a bomb. Hold on. I know I got a lot of things on the go. I got a message from my mom here. She said, uh, Are you sure? Mm, mm, it's no trouble. Well, now we're coordinating the whole... It's a series of, not unfortunate events, very fortunate events, but it still requires a little bit of work. All right. So now that we got a bomb, what do we do? Well, you turn one bomb into two bombs and possibly a coin. And then I think you turn one bomb into one bomb and a secret room and possibly a coin. That's not a coin at all. It's a spider. Vastly different. Then you decide with one, with two bombs, I should say, where do you go? The secret room is potentially viable. This is not horrible. It's just, you know, it's an exercise in keeping yourself steady, you know? If we go to the secret room, we'll have one bomb available for the boss. The secret room might contain enough money uh, to... And we gotta hope that this is the secret room to begin with. It's very likely to be. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Money, please. All right. Being able to buy a spirit heart is extremely good. No explosive diarrhea, please. Ooh, that's also horrible. Um, but being able to get a spirit heart is worth its weight in freaking quartz. I don't know. Is quartz valuable? It's not worth its weight in gold. Let's not be ridiculous. Thank you. All right, uh, I'm excited. Adds a adds a definite element of spiciness here. We're gonna drop Crow Heart. I'm gonna do one more room. I would really like to see if we can get a bomb. I don't know if the I'm excited pill is on a timer, so I'm trying to you know work that down if possible. Fair enough. Uh, we want. I jeez, I don't know. Like our DPS is really terrible. Um. Pin is acceptable. I was going to say Pin or Widow. Um, and what we really would like is for Peeper's Eye to get a good opportunity to collide. 
So we're just gonna try to stand like near. It's a complicated process. We're gonna stand near where we think Peeper's eye will be at the next time Pin pops up. Now this this boy is very speedy now. All right, it's still bad. Um, and I know I keep wavering. It's bad. It's not bad. It's bad. It's not bad. It's pretty not good. <laughs> Let me, in case you're like, what is this guy complaining about? Let me hit you with a, a little bit of an arithmetic uh, expression. You know, our DPS is a product. We got so lucky there. Our DPS is a product of that very helpful. Thank you. Totally acceptable. It's a product of our fire rate combined with our damage stat. Our fire rate is roughly... Uh, one half of what we'd expect it to be on an average run. So you more or less, if you want to see where your DPS is, probably the best way to interpret it is to just take your damage stat and divide it by two. So it's like we had 10 rate of fire and 1.6 damage. That's horrendous. If we started with that, we would be like, the game has cursed us. Average rate of fire and maybe like one third of average. Well, maybe not one third, but like... About half of average damage. So I'd say we ha we have about a half of an average strength run right now. now. And do we have HP? Yes. Why do we have HP? Because your boy was out here grinding every day of the week. Every room of the floor I'm out here trying to make sure that we, you know, stay eating. However, I can't deny we are a little bit better off now. We run into a real nightmare scenario in only a few different circumstances. And they're all very much tied to the same sort of theme. If we have a boss that summons enemies, it's going to take 1,000 years. Uh, the, the worst example is definitely Ragman. Then this bomb, I will not use it, maybe not even for a Tinted Rock, for that exact reason. You know, we need some kind of burst damage, I think. And, you know, you never, ever want to be in a situation where Peeper's Eye is your trump card. Like, which is where we're at right now. And I'm so happy to have it, by the way. But I wish we didn't need it. That was, again, pretty lucky. Um, now, we don't need the shop. For once, uh, and this is pretty nice, to be honest, but... Uh, HP is not a major concern. Our demon hearts alone can probably kill most bosses at this level. All this being said. Yep, yeah, that's extremely fair. We, we don't need a tears upgrade, but I'll tell you what, we need one of two things. We need a tears upgrade, or we need an item that uh, is independent of our rate of fire. And the best example by far is probably Mom's Knife. Even though it would take a long time to charge up our shots, um, Mom's Knife basically is just a super-powered orbital that we can aim. So I would be, uh, I would be more than willing to, to fall on the sword, as it were, and take Mom's Knife. Rotten Baby, by the way, also pretty dope. You know, doesn't require, doesn't scale with Rate of Fire. Sometimes that sucks. Here is awesome. And we're very lucky. I'm telling you, you know, just the way that I see it, this run might look like the game has screwed us. However, it didn't screw us as badly as it could have. If it had given us even like the haunts, I think we would have been in a lot of trouble on the last floor. Uh, instead, we get two easy bosses. Two, probably the two easiest bosses would be a better way to say it. Now, it's a, an example where you gotta just be thankful. You know, you gotta stand in awe of gratefulness. We're lucky, believe it or not, because the game served us a big, healthy dose of bad luck, but then didn't give us the bad luck that would be required to kill us. And I actually feel like we're okay. We definitely need offense immediately, <laughs> like as soon as possible. Um, Book, of this, Book of Sins doing a good job of keeping us uh, in there. Rodden Baby is... is a better offensive punch than we could have, uh, you know, asked for on average. Honestly, that's huge as well. 
We still only have a 14 rate of fire, but... Dude, 14 rate of fire versus, you know, 19? Yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna complain about that. I'll never complain about a tears upgrade, even if it's, like, you know, puts us up against the cap. Who cares? Okay, I gotta text my mother back. You know it's serious, because I said mother. Alright. Sounds good. Enjoy your lunch. I actually typed... I This is embarrassing. I typed to my mom like the way I typed in Discord. Instead of your, Y-O-U-R, I said Y-R. <laughs> like I'm James Murphy of LCD Sound System. Then I... Immediately I was aghast at this breach of etiquette. And I typed Y-O-U-R asterisk to indicate I, I Hey, what's my phone keyboard? Uh, briefly, it was, uh, it only had consonants on it. It's not like my mom would have cared. It's just like, I don't want somebody to think I'm treating them with disrespect, you know, by not speaking to them with uh, full punctuation. So, um... We got a long way to go still. It's nice though, in, in its own way. Of course, I would also love to just be set. Uh, and, to, and to have an awesome run, you know, independent of any other problems. But it's a run that I can't deny is keeping us engaged. There's a good mix of like, yikes. Uh, a good mix of survivability and, and danger. And you know, where's the danger? Well, our damage still sucks, and we're on the Flooded Caves, which, to be honest with you, for my money, the Flooded Caves is probably the most difficult of all the quote-unquote biomes. It's not as hard as some of the other biomes, but I think it's the, the most difficult mix of, like, difficulty of enemies versus, uh, or basically minus the expected difficulty of the caves, you know, the floor that it's replacing, and then, you know, you have to factor in how strong you expect to be by this point. And, you know, by the Caves 1, you haven't had that many opportunities to, to ball out. So, you know, there's plenty of plenty of potential anxiety here. Um, so we got uh, the projectile shield. It's fine. It's certainly uh, not what we want. You know, if we had chosen the item for ourselves, we wouldn't have chosen this. Would we have re-rolled it if there was a re-roll machine? See, that's an interesting question. I don't know. I think it's good enough defensively that I'm like 50-50. This is another interesting situation. Uh, and, and like, genuinely, not I'm not just filling dead air. Um, it is interesting. You know, do we take potato peeler? If we take it, how many times do we use it? If we don't take potato peeler, do we buy... Um, that's pretty great. Do we buy Pandora's box? And if we buy Pandora's box, I'll tell you straight away, we're going to stick with Book of Sin. So we'll use Pandora's box and just expect that it's going to be better um, than an average item. And I think, I don't know if it works like this, but I'm going to take it into the boss room. And if we get a deal, we'll pop Pandora's box on that room. If we don't get a deal, we'll probably just pop it in the boss room and hope that it's not... Uh, Range, shot speed, or something useless. I would even take Pageant Boy. You know, we get a little bit of our investment back. It's bad, but it's not horrendous. Now, um, hold on. Hello, my son. Welcome. It's an intergenerational video. We got me. We got my parents appearing as SMS messages. And we got my sons appearing as species of the feline persuasion. This is a tough choice. I think let me let me look up what Glyph of Balance does. Grants two soul hearts, modifies drop right. You visited this page on two occasions. Last visit May 26, 2018. I remember. Um Grants two soul hearts, modifies drops from champions. Hmm. No, Ruka, you cannot be up here. You have to get in the box. That's the box. I don't know if that's worth it. I mean it's it's worth taking. But is it worth... You know, start here. Okay, Synthoil. Very nice. You could... I think it's either... I mean, it's anything but Rosary.
I think we might go scapular. And I'm not that kind of guy for the most part. So you know what? Let's let's play to my own strengths, which are few, but known. Um, and Celtic Cross is a passive item that will grant me some protection on occasion. I, this run is, is just... It's defined by difficult choices here. I'm very happy, by the way, with the Synth Oil pickup. It definitely is not a deal with the Angel item. And that's okay. We got damage out of it, so what are you know... What do we care? And I think at some point, if you're missing raw stats, you just gotta, you know, take as many options or take as many uh, opportunities as you can to get items that make up for that uh, that shortfall. And we got lucky that it worked out. And I know what you're thinking: Is this man mad? Is he really? Going to try to do Mega Satan on a run that started out like this. Why not? I'm feeling inspired. Everything's going. My parents are here. I'm managing, you know, our afternoon there. I told my son to get in the box. He's getting into the box. And we got a, a difficult run. And we're navigating it in an adroit fashion. Plus, we're interleaving words like adroit into our content, which, you know. I never use words like that just to impress people. I always think it's slightly more appropriate. Why is adroit better than capable? As far as our diction goes? Um, because it, it continues with the snob arc that I've been pursuing lately. Where I'm reading more and, and acting like I'm above my station. Not because I truly believe it. <laughs> Eight laughs. Just enough to get the point across. Um, no, I don't know where I'm going with this. We're getting a little too self-aware. It's just Isaac. We're still far from uh, having an incredible run. But we are starting to get there. Everything's, you know what, it's downright inspiring. Every part of this run is doing what it has to do. It's doing its share. Rotten babies milling the flour. Projectile shield is baking the bread. Book of Sin is so in the wheat, and we're all gonna eat some delicious sandwiches later. I would love to get Champion Belt, so let's do it. Now, I will say, Champion Belt probably means that if you were a PhD level Egghead Isaac player, wouldn't you have preferred to have gotten a Glyph of Balance? Now you get more champions, and you also have uh, the means to to some extent control what champions give you and they're, and they're gonna give you better stuff, I think. At least if you have control over it, but... No, that's what, in the end... Both Scapular and Glyph of Balance had the same problem. They need to be piloted. Celtic Cross doesn't need to be piloted. That doesn't make it worse. It also doesn't make it better, though. You know, all it means is that it removes the human element. And I think, for my money, you know, anything that removes the human element with respect to me is good. It's like, I know I mention it every video now, but, you know, I was talking on Twitter about Slay the Spire. Somebody was like, hey, you know, if an idiot like you can win in Ascension mode, um, then I decided I got no excuse. So what's your advice? You know, what do you think is the easiest character to do in Ascension mode? And I said to them, I said the defects. Because the defect, basically, by following, like, three rules for card selection, you have a very good chance to get a run that, re that is great and requires absolutely no skill to pilot. And that's the the frost focus archetype. If you're if you're watching both series, um, help. Frost focus is the easiest build in the world. Any card that gives you focus, you take. And almost any card that gives you frost, you take. And then when you see a card that gives you focus, you play it. And when you see a card that gives you frost, you probably play it. And that's I mean it gets a little bit more nuanced than that, but not by much. Still, um, you know, damage is actually sorted roughly. Still not incredible, but DPS is bad still. We really need probably two more tiers upgrades before I'll stop complaining about that. Magic Mush, it certainly helps. Let's see how much it helps. Not any with respect to Rate of Fire, but gave us like 50% more damage. Dude. It's in bad taste to be proud of a run that we have not won yet, but I am. I'm proud of this run. 
in four difficult floors, we have turned it from uh, what looked like, to be honest, a likely loss into something that now is almost unlosable and might kill Megas Satan. It's probably bad for him to call it unlosable as well, but I mean, Holy Mantle, nine damage. Again, still missing out a little bit, but... No, let's not. Um, this is a great floor to use on Susan. You know, I'm not really in the interest of rushing it down, except I'd like to have access to, uh... Yo. I'd like to have access to Boss Rush, just to see what's in there, because you never know. Um, I kind of treat Boss Rush like a really good item room. That has an incredible cost. And you know what? We should actually treat it like a deal with the devil. Um... You lived. It's a deal with the devil, but instead of paying HP at, up front, you probably pay it uh, in 10 easy payments of half a heart. And the items are not guaranteed to be any good. But sometimes they are. Either way, you want to see it. So let's see what we got going on here. Might be the first time in a while we've blown up our donation machine as well. I still, occasionally, I'm getting busted shops. I just have to apologize. If, um... Yo, let's do it. If, um... We are... Making a mistake. And we should be... Making the shop, uh, hit a thousand and then break. That's my bad. That's that's a backlog related issue. But, you know, once it percolates out and I, I get a tweet or a comment, we, we can sort that out real quick. By the way, I did just realize that with Holy Mantle and Turdy Touch, we actually have a little bit more cool killing power than I originally anticipated. We probably want Dead Dove here and no reason to fight. We'll head down. If you'll excuse me, I have another message from the family matriarch. It says, thanks. Okay. We're good to go. Well, hey, thank God I took the ability to fly. Jeez, game. Two abilities to fly. Is it my birthday? I'm just being insufferable. Very rare that you kill that one last, I think. Um, this is an early candidate for, like, you know, most improved run of the month. No question. We were extremely slow leaving our early floors, and now it's like, it's a no-brainer. Boss Rush, certainly on the table. I will say, it's a little reckless to pick up uh, Monstro's Lung. You know, when you have, there's probably a good rule of thumb. If your rate of fire is bad, don't pick up Monstro's Lung. But I, you know, here's another rule of thumb. Monstro's Lung is cool, so screw you. <laughs> screw you, I won't do what you tell me! Those who dry! I was gonna turn it into like a dishes parody. It ran out of steam immediately. I was like, do they see me? I could have taken camo underwear. I don't know if it would have helped in this specific permutation. I don't I don't think it would have helped my holy mantle turdy touch endeavors. Um, but I could be wrong. So I actually think we will probably not make boss rush. So let's not cast uh you know, throw good money after bad. We might as well go to the item room we're actually likely to be able to take advantage of. That's my two cents, Larry King style. It's like one of the only ways we could totally screw up our run. Let's do it. So our rate of fire has returned to normal. Which is normal in this case, meaning decidedly below average, but functional. And now we got laser beams coming out of, you know, all uh, corners. You know what we want to go with this? Easily. Sacred Heart. Make some of these lasers, at least the lasers that are pointed in the right direction, will home. Could double or triple our damage relatively easily. 
No deal with the Angel this time? That's fine. We're in a much safer place. I don't mean like in the world. I mean on this run. This one, it was close. I didn't let on too much, I think. Cue like, you know, a compilation of the 55 times I complained about it. But like this run was not, especially early. I was like, we got about, you know, I mean, we're one bad room away from death on the first floor. Any enemy would have killed us. Everything just sort of... Basically, you know, if I could chalk an MVP or like an unexpected MVP up on this run, you know what it would be? The greed statue in the secret room on the first floor. Almost tempted, by the way, but... Were it not for the fact that uh, we got a nickel out of that greed statue, you never know, is all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say we would have lost, but our odds of losing went way up. And if you'll excuse me, I am basically... I mean, if I find the boss room, I'm going to take advantage of the boss room. The reason for that is our run is still not one. You know, I, I my gut feeling right now, I don't think we really benefit from taking a long time. Even with Holy Mantle, we're coming kind of close to taking damage. But if you want to change my tune, it's so simple. Here's two items. People love hearing things in list form. Here's two items. Number one and number two will not surprise you. That will uh, elevate this run from like the 7 out of 10 it is right now. And I'll tell you, if I had to do my uh, assessment, it's a 5 out of 10 offensively. Don't shoot the messenger. It's a... Uh, actually maybe a 10 out of 10 defensively. It's close. It might be like a 9. It just requires... I know that would average out to a 7, but, you know, I don't... I don't play by the same rules as so-called mathematics. Feel free to write that uh, on your math test if you're not doing so hot. Like, if you get something wrong on a math test, be like, well, that's just like your opinion, man. You want to take it to a 10 out of 10? Probably like an 8.5 out of 10 offensively. The mulligan plus any form of homing tears. I would still love a little rate of fire increase as well. We're looking so much better though. I'm amazed how quickly it got good as well. I mean, we did pick up a lot of the... A couple of the, like, extremely very, very, very good items. Magic Mush, Holy Mantle in particular. Monstro's Lung, debatably kind of... It, it's close to that class of item, sometimes. Well, I mean, we want basically none of it, to be honest. Take me up to the Cathedral. And I gotta tell you, I'm feeling confident. I wasn't messing with you earlier in this video where I said I'm feeling good, I'm feeling inspired today. I am. I'm telling you, this early morning schedule today, well, this early morning by YouTuber standards schedule has changed my life. Woke up at 9 today, fresh as a daisy. Feeling great. Had a cup of coffee, went furniture shopping, went to the post office, started recording Isaac. It's weird for it to be like 2 p.m. And I've been up for six hours. I'm not even... Because I'm in such a good mood, I'm not even going to hit you with the classic... Uh, oh, six hours. Well, I uh, work as an upholsterer for the United States government. I've been up since 3.30 a.m. On the weekend, I sleep in. I wake up at 5.45, you know. Thank you for your service. I appreciate it. Dude, I, I owe Nick for that joke. It's so good. And we were talking about, you know, the targeted t-shirts you get advertised on Facebook. That's like, don't mess with me. Hell hath no fury like an iron worker from Indiana. And then Nick said, thank you for your service. It's just the best. Like, I, I really think it might be one of the all-time greatest shutdowns. 
to somebody who complains about how hard their life is without it actually being that hard. I'm going to use it all the time. Like, whenever I'm like, man, it's quite cold today. It's like a negative three. Negative three? I live in Alert Nunavut. Is negative 60 today. Oh, thank you for your service. Like, is there anything that it it's... Thank you for your service. Five words? You know they say a picture's worth a thousand words? Thank you for your service is worth at least, like, 7,500. That's not a misspeak. Because it says, like, hey, what are you complaining about? <laughs> Why are you trying to get sympathy for pretending to have made a sacrifice? You know? I love it. It is, it's such a... You know, it's like a, you just get with, what is it, uh, I'm trying to think of the Bob Dylan lyric at the end of Don't Think Twice, It's All Right, you know. I ain't saying you treated me unkind, may you take advantage, but I don't mind. You just kind of wasted my precious time, don't think twice, it's all right. It's like, you know, I hate that. His, the lover who scorned him is like, I'm sorry. And then he's like, sorry for what? You just kind of wasted the, you just wasted my time. It's not that big of a deal. It's an all time great rock line or folk, depending on, I guess it would, it's, that's from the pre um, Newport Folk Festival. I'm just saying, thank you for your service is the new you just kind of wasted my precious time. Don't think twice. It's all right. How's the Dylan impression, by the way? I haven't been working on it. I've just, you know, just kind of came to me. Once upon a time, you dressed so fine. The center of the ground, the time around. Didn't you? I'm just told, you know. Maybe one day we can be in a Bob Dylan tribute band. Which really, I'm, I'm, I only want to be in a tribute band if I can come up with a good name for it. And there's got to be something that sounds like Bob Dylan, but is not Bob Dylan. Can't call it like Bob on Bob, blood on the track list. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching. Hope you've uh, enjoyed the episode. This was a good one for us. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Click subscribe. It's all right.